Hi guys, so I want to talk about the clinical rotations in nursing school. A lot of people ask me what clinical rotations do you have to do and I want to talk about which rotations I did and these are very common for most nursing schools to do. Some are a little bit different than others, of course, some rotations you may not do, some you may do. So I'm going to walk you through my rotations. So my first semester of nursing school um, was very basic and we did like the first half of school was just like classes and learning skills and bioscience and, and injections, things like that. And then the second half, we were in a long-term care center, which looking back on it, basically what we did was like very CNA-like. You know, we learned a lot of the basic hands-on skills that nurses do, but that CNAs are like really, really good at, and which was great. And looking back on it, like that's exactly what you need your first semester of nursing school is learning all those basic skills. So then my second semester of nursing school, I did med surge and psych. It was split up. So like the first half I think I did psych and the second half I did med surge and my psych rotation there was two rotations we did. We did an outpatient psych and then we did inpatient like where people are like acutely struggling with depression or acutely psychotic or manic or things like that. But I don't mean those words in any mal intent. Um, so that was very interesting on learning how to communicate with people and then did my med surge rotation, which was like your typical med surge, like it was like twice a week for like seven or eight weeks, something like that. And that's where we learned IVs and got to learn how to pass meds and give meds and um, which we did that in long term care as well, but just, you know, a little bit more of acute setting, so to speak. So my third semester was a lot of fun. Uh, it was OB and Peds. So I started off with OB, which I absolutely loved my OB rotation because I got to see so many things. I got to see C-sections and vaginal births. I got to be um, help with the vaginal births as far as like when the baby was born, like cleaning the baby off and helping with the footprints and weigh them and do their little injections and the eye ointment and all those things, um, which was awesome. And, you know, seeing C-sections and things like that was very interesting to me. Um, so we did antepartum, postpartum, and like the triage and labor and delivery. So we got to rotate through all of those things. Um, and then did my pediatric rotation, which I was at a very like, I don't wanna say prestigious, but a very well known um, children's hospitals, Phoenix Children's, and they don't allow their nursing students to really do a whole lot, which rightfully so, you know, you're a student and you're working with like a very, um, you know, vulnerable young population, but it was still interesting to like follow the nurses and like, you know, see kind of the, it's kind of like med surge, but for pediatrics. And so I enjoyed it, but I really liked being hands on and being able to do things. And I felt like in my piece rotation, I wasn't really able to do that, which it's different for everywhere and anyone. But anyways, it was still was interesting. Nonetheless, I got to rotate through like the ER and just the general floors. Um, no surgeries uh, or anything like that. And then my last semester of nursing school, uh, the first half was ICU. So I did ICU and had like two rotations in the ER, which I really, really enjoyed. Obviously, I work the ICU now. So like that was very inspiring for me to see all the nurses and like how I just remember like they're so smart. I'm like, wow, how do you know all this stuff? And you manage all these drips and medications. And <sighs> anyways, it was a uh, very, very interesting nonetheless uh, and I really loved the ER as well you know I got to do IVs and draw labs and give meds and hang meds things like that and then my the last half of my semester my last semester was our preceptorship which actually wasn't really a preceptorship it was just the uh, I, I was in an intermediate care unit at Mayo and I was on the same floor for like nine weeks like twice a week with um, a different nurse every time, but you got to at least be in the same unit, so you got to see the flow of things versus being in a different unit every single time. So that was interesting to see Mayo's workforce and perspective on how they do things and be in intermediate care, which is a little bit above med surge, but not quite ICU. Um, it kind of solidified that I did really like the ICU. I liked a little bit more intense. Um, thingies, I guess you could say. So anyway, that is a quick breakdown of my clinical rotations in nursing school, which I'm sure is very similar to what you're going to do. Some you may not do, some you may do, some you do, may do more of. So let me know in the comments below what clinical rotations you're doing right now, what you're going to do, what you have done, all of that fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.